Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet a curly cue. This is a curly cue I've made. And let's pull it apart a little bit just to show you the construction. If we unroll it like this, you can see there's a starting chain. And in each chain, you do a bunch of stitches. These are double crochets. You can do single crochet, I've seen even treble crochet. And what happens by working lots of stitches in each chain, it starts to kind of scrunch it up and twist it up and it becomes a curly cue, just like that. So let's get started. I have here just some worsted weight cotton yarn and a J, a six millimeter crochet hook. You can really use any yarn or hook. If you're unsure about what hook to use with your chosen yarn, you can just look at the back of the yarn label. I have one right here. This is a different yarn label actually. But your yarn label will show you, let's see, oh, it's on the back here. Your yarn label will show you a recommended hook size. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna put a slip knot on our crochet hook to begin. And then we're gonna make our starting chain. The length of the starting chain will be roughly the length of the finished curly cue. So let's make our starting chain. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and pull it through the loop, just like that. So let's make a couple more. I'm not gonna make a really big curly cue just big enough to show you. Okay, we'll just make it about that big. So in the fourth chain from the hook, this loop here does not count. One, two, three, and four, we're going to work a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn around hook, draw it for, through the first two loops, yarn around hook, draw it through the last two loops. That's a double crochet. Make one more double crochet in that same chain there. Okay. In the next chain, you're going to work three double crochets. The reason we only work two is because this, when we did our double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, it made this, which counts as the first double crochet, just as a side note. So in the next chain, we're going to make three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Now in each chain, all the way across, we're going to work three double crochets in each chain, all the way across. So let's go on to our next chain. One, two, and three. And then move on to the next chain. Curly cues are a lot of fun. You can use them for a whole lot of different things. You can use them on top of a hat instead of pom-poms. You can use them along the edge of a scarf. Let me just pull some more yarn out here. You can use them along the edge of an afghan instead of fringe. You could even tie one onto your tree for the holidays. So we're coming into the last few chains here. You could even get sparkly or kind of novelty yarn that has sequins in it and put one on top of a gift. Pull a little yarn out here. And definitely experiment with lots of different yarn because you'll get lots of different and interesting looking curly cues. And also sometimes when you're working on these, um, you may lose track. Just go back and look at your chain and you can just count one, two, three. So here we are in our very last chain. 
So we'll work three double crochets in the last chain. One, two, and three. To finish your curly cue, just snip your yarn and fasten it off just like that. And this one's kind of short, so let's go back to our original. I made that one a little longer. But as you can see, you might have to, you know, encourage it into its spiral shape. But as you can see here, we'll put this one aside because this one's a little longer. It's a little easier to show you. When you're finished, you'll have these two tails. You can take your tapestry needle and to attach them to something, you can either weave these tails in and then sew it, this edge, to something for a very secure uh, attachment to a piece like I mentioned, a hat or a scarf or an afghan. Or you can simply just take these two tails here and just tie them right onto something, just like that. If you're going to be uh, gluing them or doing something else with them, you could always just weave them in and just have the curly cue. So that's our curly cue tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux YouTube updates. Thanks again.